Okay, students, welcome back to civil government. This is our history class for October 12th, 2020. Uh, we're almost finished with this long, <laughs> this long assignment that we had. We got, we're going to finish the rest of this page and we'll do the second page on Thursday. All right, we're going to be finishing up this week on civil government and move on to chapter four. And just a quick review, government is at the top of your page. What is government? Direction and control. What is self-government? Controlling oneself. What is civil government? The laws that govern a nation. All right. And we learned that we keep our liberty in our how do we keep our liberty in our hearts? Because that's where liberty begins. It begins, begins in your heart and then in your nation. We keep our hearts with all diligence. That's what the Bible tells us in Proverbs 4.23. We keep our hearts with all diligence. We only allow good things in. And the best way to do that is to read God's word and feed yourself with righteous things. All right. Um, if we don't obey God in our hearts, and follow God's word for our lives, are we gonna have liberty? No, we're not gonna have liberty in our hearts, much less in our nation. How do we have liberty in our nation? It starts with the individual. Individuals need to be free of sin to have liberty and be. you need to be self-governed, all right? So we don't have to have someone else govern you. Except, of course, when you're your age, you're gonna need someone to govern you until you're an adult. If we're not self-governed, will we have liberty? No, you won't have so you won't have liberty if you're not self-governed, and it begins in your heart. All right. If civil government was started acting irresponsibly and not doing good for the people and protecting their rights, will you have liberty? Nope, either none or very little. I'm just going down the the, the questions that we've already answered. If men don't serve for good, they will abuse their power to harm others. Then the government will harm you. So we must, um, we must choose good ministers of our civil government. And what are good ministers? Ministers who follow God's word. If we don't have good ministers, will we have, would civil government tell us where to live? They're going to boss you around and tell you where to live. They're going to tell you what to study. They're going to tell you what church to go to, or they may even say, say you can't go to church. How did men learn civil government? Okay, so this is where we left off. I can't remember if we answered number 10, but if we did not, I'm going to read from our history book. I'm going to read from page 10. We've already read the chapter twice, so I don't, if you don't want to follow me, just list, please listen. I am going to go a little bit fast. It is somewhat of a review. So we might have answered it already, but that's okay. If we didn't, let's find out what the answer is. It says, how did men learn what civil government should be? How do people know what civil government should be? The top of page 10, page 10 says, by reading God's word, men also learned God had a plan for nations. America is a nation, okay? And it teaches us how nations should be governed. So how do we find out how a nation, how to have civil government? The government of nations is called government, civil government. So the Bible tells us that God has a plan for every nation and it tells us that every nation should be governed and it tells us that this government is civil government. So for number 10, if we didn't already do it, we might have already done it. How do we know how to have civil government? By reading. People need to read their Bibles. That's how we will know how to have civil government. All right. And you, you should already know that if you need more time, go ahead and pause the video. Number 11. Has civil government in all nations, in all nations, been according to the Bible. All the nations in the world, have they done it according to the Bible? Let's read. As men studied the Bible and learned about self-government and civil government, they learned that God planned for civil government to protect those who were doing good. They also learned that God planned for civil government to punish those who were doing evil. And so learned as men studied 
No, the answer is no. They, people did not have Bibles years ago, many, many, many years ago. People did not have Bibles. If they didn't have a Bible, they couldn't read the Bible and find out. Some, uh, many people didn't know how to read. So what are the, I'm sorry, has civil government in all nations been according to the Bible? The answer is no. It has not. Okay. Number 12, what are the steps required to change civil government? So if the nations have not had government according to God's plan, then we need to do something. We need to change it according to God's plan, according to what the Bible tells us. So what are the steps? Three steps to have civil government. Let's read what they are. I'm still on page 10. Second paragraph, as men studied the Bible. Okay, first of all, you need to read the Bible. They learned about self-government and civil government, and they learned that God planned for civil government to protect those who were doing good. Okay, so the first thing that people needed to do was they read the Bible and it said people had to not read the Bible. I mean, they had to read the Bible, but they read the Bible to learn what? What did they need to learn? Number 12, there's three answers for number 12. They had to learn to govern themselves, okay? So number 12. They need to learn to how, to, how to govern themselves. That's what you're doing right now. You're learning how to govern yourself, right? Okay. The laws had to be according to God's what? They had to be, if the government made laws, they had. did they make the laws they felt like making? Did they make the laws that they felt they wanted to accomplish what they wanted? No, we don't do our will. We do God's will. God has a plan for every nation. So we had to do make laws according to God's plan. According to God's plan. We're still on number 12. There's three answers. Three, you have three blanks there. And there's another step. It says here, um, God planned for civil government to protect those who were doing good. They also learned that God planned for civil government to punish those who were doing evil. God's plan was to, those who did evil had to be punished. That's another reason why we have civil government. And this is for number 12. Those who did evil had to be punished. These are the steps that we need to change our civil government. If you don't have any of those three, you will not have a good minister for the people. Remember what minister is? Minister is something, someone or something that serves the people. It's for the people, right? Okay. As men learned they could govern their own actions and their own families by the Bible. They wanted civil government to govern the way God planned. They wanted civil government to protect their liberty. Men had to learn from the Bible what God planned for civil government. They had to learn from the Bible what civil government was. It would take many, many years to change civil government. It took many, many, many years so if it took many, many years, number 13, it says, is it easy to have self-civil government? If it took many, many years, no, it's not easy because it's hard for people to change. Many people don't want to change or may, many people don't, aren't able to understand or comprehend um, sometimes what they have learned all their lives and all of a sudden they need to change it. It's really hard to change, okay? It's just like me trying to get you to change your penmanship. It's really, really hard, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so number 13 is no. Is it easy to have civil government? It's not easy to have civil government. All right? Uh, let me see here. I'm going to keep reading to the end of the chapter. It would take many, many years to change civil government. First, the people had to learn to govern themselves. Leaders had to be prepared to make laws according to God's word. Rulers had to punish those who did evil. The study of history shows us how God used men and women to lead in changing civil government. History shows us how hard it was to have civil government. 
and how hard it was to protect civil liberty, I mean, to protect liberty. Some men and women died so that others could have liberty. Many thousands and thousands of men and women died so that we could have liberty. Okay, so you and me could have liberty. History records how God changed civil government to protect men and women and boys and girls like you and me. All right. When the people in Philadelphia cried, remember chapter one, they cried when they found out that they were free from the control of Spain. I mean, not Spain, England. In Philadelphia, they cried, ring the bell for liberty. They understood that liberty must be in their hearts and lives forever. Then they could have liberty in their nation. Liberty begins in your heart and then in your nation. It doesn't begin in the nation first and then in the person. The United States of America, in the United States of America, our liberty has been protected. It is the responsibility of every person and family in America to know God's plan for civil government. If we forget what God has taught us in our word, we could lose our liberty. If we forget, we will lose our liberty. We will, we will distance ourselves from God, from his word, from his plan, and we will lose our liberty. Many people don't realize that we can lose our liberty, but you can. The last question, how could we lose our liberty in America? So the very last sentence in chapter 3 says, if we forget what God has taught us in his word, we could lose our liberty. If we forget what God taught us. So in order not to forget, what do we need to do? Read the word, read the Bible. So the last one, this is how we would lose our liberty. We would lose our liberty if we forget what God has taught us in his word. All right? If we forget what God has taught us, we will lose our liberty in our hearts and in our nation both. Not just us and not just the nation. It will be both. We will be ruled again by our enemies. And you don't want to be ruled by your enemies, do they? They have no mercy. All right? They will make our life miserable. <laughs> So that is a very short lesson today. We just needed to finish this page on Thursday. It'll also be a short lesson. It'll be on external and internal, internal government. Make sure that you have, before you start the video, that you have a ruler. You will need a ruler for the next lesson, for Thursday's lesson. All right? We'll see you then. Bye-bye.